Investigators in Beaverton have launched an arson investigation after a fire outside of an apartment complex. The flames destroyed several cars parked under the carport of the Canyon Park Apartments. Cambody is live with more on this investigation. Let me show you some of the damage that was caused by this fire that happened about 10, 1030 last night. Five cars destroyed by that fire, burned right through to the frame. Now, investigators tell me that they don't have a suspect yet, but they do have some leads. Does it make you angry that somebody would go around setting fires like this? Definitely. Definitely makes you angry. Especially considering that one of the five vehicles destroyed by the fire is Francis Lee's truck. By the time I got downstairs, the whole roof ceiling of the thing was on fire, and at that point, it wasn't worth my time or my health to try to get the truck, so I just let it go and uh, unfortunately watched it all burn up. Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue tells me the blaze was set deliberately, likely near the dumpster area. We were on scene as fire investigators and detectives from the Washington County Sheriff's Office arrived to begin an arson investigation. Residents tell me they suspect some local kids may be the culprits. Have you heard that and is that part of the investigation? Well, I mean, there was uh, a report of some kids that were running from the area just prior to that, but it is an apartment complex and there's a lot of kids everywhere. I hope it's nobody I know that's around here. Lee also told me that some residents are considering leaving the Canyon Park Apartments because this is the third fire someone has set in just the past month. One was set near some gas meters outside 10-year-old Anthony Leonard's building. He was outside Sunday night and ran home when he saw the fire. My sister was in tears, but we had to run back. We, we had to find my mom, and so she was over there. And all we knew that she was safe and everybody else was safe. Sheriff's investigators tell me they do have some leads, but are still looking for the public's help. And it may be a while before the folks who own these cars can get them out of there. It's been fenced off and blocked off as a crime scene. Live in Beaverton, Ken Body, Coin 6 News.